This always... Victory Road is doing my head in, though. I've never liked Victory Road. I, I never, never have. It's, it's supposed to be like the last ditch thing, but the fact that you need um, uh, HM Pokemon to go through it means you don't even get to go through your full team. And I find it always just the weirdest thing when people evangelize the dungeons of Pokemon now because they're not cool. Oh, Sword and Shield are just like, you know, they don't have them. And everyone's like, oh man, I really miss things like Victory Road, where it's a big, horrible dungeon to get through. You hate, do you really miss pumping into a goal by every 30 steps? I really don't miss this. I honestly don't. And most of the time, I end up being a good level because, you know, I'll, I'll just grind it out. Mm -hmm. um, and I, when I get to places like Victory Road, I will use a repel and just walk for it. I don't bother do. with it. Also, Lucas, I'm not sure if you're aware, but um, a week or so ago, or a couple of weeks ago now, it was Fat Bear season. Oh, okay. Uh, which is the week before bears go into hibernation, and then <laughs> still, they still walk around, which means you get to see bears that look like this. Oh, Arthur Flinch, no! Lucas, look at this Fat Bear. Uh, everyone, fat everyone at home, Google Fat Bear season. Oh, God, look at, that look is at that. a tank. Look at that absolute fucking chonk of a bear. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Arthur. We revived you to die. Yeah, we brought him back to life to kill him. Look at this bear. It looks like a trapezoid. <laughs> like, it's a trapezoidal bear. What do you do? How do you defeat a bear? It's the really sad thing of everything is just only half good against gold bats, apart from Maxi, who has no discharge PP. And when you're at so this I'm point, just gonna have to bring Charles back out. And it's when you're at that point of. Um, I want to just kill these things in one go because I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. It's a shame. But uh, looking at this though, um, a couple of the items that we could potentially get is like Dragon Claw. That's in Fire and Leaf Green, so we want. Um, do we want Heart Gold, Soul Silver? Any TMs in here? I'm sure there are some. Uh, nothing spot so far. Earthquake is in here. Ooh. So we want Earthquake because that's like, one of the best moves. And we want to save that until we've got like, a definitive team. Because TMs you can't really use in this game. Uh, no, you can't, but I'm tempted to just say Ursa Ring. Oh, yeah. Give it to her. Do you know what? I'm going to use my um, uh, Vita on an Ursa Ring. If we've got a Guts Ursa Ring. Fucking yeah, four, if, okay. if one of them has Guts. And since they appear on all the floors, we can always come back in and get one dead quick. Yeah, yeah. Grind out so we get one. It was the first Pokemon we found. What have we got? Uh, the full restore. Not bad. Do you know what they've not released in the game yet? Like just an item that just gives your Pokemon back all its PP as well. And in addition to healing it. Because restoring PP is such a ball ache in the game where... And because the items that do it are really difficult to get hold of, it's almost always a better option to just go to a Pokemon Center. It is, yeah. I've never at any point felt compelled Because to... you can't buy ethers, I believe. So there's no incentive to use them. Mm. Because there's never a situation where like, you don't where you need PP that much. Yeah! Look at that. So I, I think we did all of that just for um, a, just full, for a full restore. A full restore that we can just buy. Carl, do we want a ride on? Ooh, rock ground? I think we don't need to trade it. Is Rhyhorn one you need to train? Or Find train? out. Let's Find out that. for me. Because I'm not too fussed about Rhyhorn. I'm not overly fussed about Rhydon, but at the same uh, time, it's quite cool, quite strong. And it evolves at level 42, so we can get one. It's, um, you've got to trade it to get Rhyperia. Oh, okay. Which is like a Saturn Rhydon. And yeah, it does have very good stat, based on 130 attack. That's again. true, isn't it? We could give it EVO on it. Could we? Would that work? Could we just create the most, like, dense Pokemon imaginable? <laughs> I don't mind Rhyhorn. I really do like Rhyhorn and Rhydon. Because Rhydon could get Eviolite like, in this game, surely. Yeah, so look. Rhyperion. What game was that introduced? Gen 4. Is it Gen 4? So that means we can get it in this. Fuck yeah, then. Let's do it. Um, What the hell do we call this? Oh, well, obviously, Rhino. Fucking hell. Yeah. No, this is Jesus all the... Christ! Rhyme. I nearly said the words like, "Is there a Rhino-based character?" He's called fucking Rhino. Yeah. So he's Alexi. 
<laughs> Alexei Okan. Alexei Svetovich. So. I can't believe that you I just would... nearly said that. Yeah, so just call him Alex. Is it a girl or a boy? Either way, Alex. Alex works for a girl, yeah, there we go. Holy shit, I'm so embarrassed, guys. I can't, I can't believe you did that. Oh, man. Is there, a, is there a Marvel character that's based on a Rhino? Yeah, he's called Rhino. I can't wait for people to leave that comment. <laughs> if he is that, you cannot say anything and not like and correct it in enough time for people to not be like, whoa, 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 how could you possibly have forgotten about this? It's, it does feel to me um, as if some people, and I, I guarantee you that it happens because I see it all the time, of they will pause the video the moment you make a mistake to comment on it. Mm -hmm. And then the amount of people that like edit it and go, edit, you did clarify this five minutes later. So why don't you, like, don't you feel like a fool? You foolish fool. <laughs> it's just, God damn it, man. I hate that this is like, a part of my life I have to deal with. Um, that friend of ours who summed it up by saying, being a content creator, uh, specifically like around video games and stuff, is one of the worst um, career options to have because you mm. have to listen to fucking morons and fifteen-year-olds as if they as if their uh, opinion matters. <laughs> and it sounds super harsh, but think about how many games journalists and stuff have to actually listen to fifteen-year-old bitching about Cyberpunk twenty seventy-seven, mm. as if it's like their concerns actually matter. It's like this is a billion-dollar industry. Is no, it's way more than a billion dollar industry. But it's like, this is like one of the biggest entertainment issues on earth and I've got to pay you to fucking children. Oh, someone's talking about Blue. Yeah, Chad. Professor Oak's grandson of four champion. Uh, he's a super Pokemon trainer. See you later. How he good is, is yeah. that though? He was the champion for about 10 minutes. <laughs> and then if, every time you replay that game, beat the Elite Four again, he also comes in. Which means that every single time you go beat the Elite Four, he thinks that he could be the champion. <laughs> you tried. So that is um, the one weird thing that they didn't correct for a long time. What's that? Is the idea that you still go and challenge the champion, even though you're the champion now. No, I hate that when you go in, when you're doing the Elite Four again. It's like, ah, so you come to challenge the champion. It's like, no, I'm the fucking champion. Whereas you're in Sun and Moon, me. it was you did a challenge defense. Which is people coming, which I liked, because then it gives you a chance to fight against other trainers. Yeah, and there was a, a selection of 20 or so different trainers that could come and fight you, including and, the Professor. And then you have um, Sword and Shield, right? No, just fight Leon again. Yeah. Fight Leon in his shit hat. God, I hate Leon so much. <laughs> he's just annoying, because every time he gets his Charizard, is he going to Dynamax his Charizard first turn? Oh, he's yep. Dynamax his Charizard first turn, great. <laughs> Right, so I'll tell you what, while I'm lost, Carl, let's just put on some super, uh, super repels. Why not? Look at all these items we'll never use. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I can't find it. I did see them earlier. Oh, Where, there they are, yeah. Where's the favourite pocket? With all the different pockets on your bag, just give us a favourite pocket where we can just put like all of our... Um, Carl, items. give me a favourite pocket, but make sure when I take an item and give it to a Pokemon and then put, put it back in my bag, just make sure that it doesn't go back into the favourites pocket, okay? Because why would I want that? I'm really lost, Carl. <laughs> are, you, are you seriously lost? Because I can't help you because you've gone so far in. Now I don't know where you are. So even if well, I I'm, I'm literally back near the entrance. Okay, so in which case I can bring up the map. Art Gold and Soul Silver. I'll try. Oh, wait a minute. I know you are now. Do, do, do. I think I've literally got to go up. Yeah, it's up. Uh, I'll bring up the maps now. So you go up and then. Da, 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 da. Oh. Lucas, it happens. Well, it's more just I have to go into my bag to get a super repel again. Every single time, yeah. My maps. That, uh, speaking of things, that took me a long time to figure out. Yeah. <laughs> It's amazing to me that Pokemon is what it's approaching not, its twenty fifth anniversary, it's and it took them like, like twenty years to solve some problems in the games. Some glaring problems, I will point out. For example, HMs. I love that one. Can I 
have to I have to press A to be able to use strength every time I go into a new form. Of course you do, Lucas. Fuck you. So that's the only answer to that, it's not fuck you. <laughs> Victory Road. I'll do it. Suplex down. Now, how strong is your Six. character? I think you go down that hole, yeah. Well, I went down that earlier. Okay, then go around then. Ah, so maybe that's where I went wrong. Oh, is it looked oh, like I couldn't get through? And there's the exit, look. You can see it. But I know that it's going to lead me to a ladder. I don't know. This leads you to a hole. So I'm gonna uh, well, that's check. what I mean. Keep going around. I can see the exit, but um, it's not yeah. going to be that easy. No, keep following this path around. This leads you to two holes now. And you're on the third floor, aren't you? So, uh, which one should you drop down? And then drop down the lower one. The lower one. And there should be a ladder in front of you. Yeah. So you could have got light in one pocket who gives a shit. Actually, no, because that could be... Um, uh, we don't know, do we? No, we don't. That could have been an earthquake. Who gives a shit? Let's get out. Once you're out, we can go back in and get items if we really care. Uh, so run around here, get yeah. this item. A rare candy. Hell yeah, and then you can jump across. Uh, go down, look, jump across, yeah. and leave. Leave, get your items. Oh, oh God, God, no, we forget you always get. Oh, I it's nice, Nuzlocke. <laughs> nah, victory road. Do you see any real trainers? I still don't see any real trainers, mate. <laughs> I wish you could chat shit. That would be awesome. It's amazing to me that Nintendo games still just fake having any options for like dialogue in games. Of, but Lucas, be quiet. If you pick this, this shitty option, they go, are you sure you want to say that though? Lucas, this song loud. I love the rival battle song in this game. I'll sneeze on. Uh, we're gonna have to swift it and hope that it's just frail enough. We can't. Well, it's Sneasley's pretty in that. Right, like we. I've got his, like, his um, chosen Pokemon up here now. Oh, that's true. Hopefully, I'm guessing our like, Charles is fast enough for this not to matter. Eh, uh, probably. Oh no, maybe not. Oh shit, thank you, Zach as well. Oh no, we're stabbed. He's got our number, Carl. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Oh god, that's some damage. Nuzlocke knew that our opening gambit would be Charles and just went, no. Oh, he's dead now. His dart's like Pokemon for you. So, we are currently locked into Swift, so I might have to swap Charles out to end on. No problem. I think the next one he was going to have to go back. I've got his list of Pokemon Charles wants Future Sight. No, I'm okay. That movie is good, but just the fight takes three moves to come in. Mm -hmm. Three turns. Uh, Haunter, well, bye, switch both. <laughs> yep, uh, oh, oh god, he's only with now. Because if he beats him, no. go all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, I guess. Hopefully his Haunter will use Curse or something. Hmm. So if he uses Curse and we just switch out, it'll kill itself. And Haunter's popping on our speakers, which is kind of annoying. Well, the thing is, um, bite it, Lucas, bite him. If we've got Charles, now that we've got rid of his dart type Pokemon, I would assume that we can just go fuck it, like Psybeam all the way. Yes. But now as well, he's used Curse. If we switch back to Charles. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Perfect. He is. My Haunter did the job for us. Basically, yeah. Oh, you do still take that Curse damage. I was wondering. A quarter turn of the So we probably want to switch out. Yeah, Kadabra. Go, so, let's go fuck it up. Let's bring Charles in. Just Shadow Ball. Have you seen so recently that uh, Yuri Geller retracted his copyright on that? Yeah, so Jenna came and told me about this earlier and I did not realise that was a, like such a long-standing thing. Yeah, uh, people don't know what we're talking about. Yuri Geller, um, a mentalist and performer. Best uh, known a con artist, artist, Carl. Is con artist, yeah, that's the other yeah. word I was going to use. Like, a, a liar, <laughs> a charlatan, um, con uh, contribute. Uh, Big fraud artist <laughs> um, uh, sued the Pokemon company because the picture of Kadabra on a Pokemon card is then bending a spoon. And he mm -hmm. saw that as a, um, a a swipe at him because he's best known for bending spoons. It's like, no, it's not. And I want to double check. I want to check the card and see, does it even look like him? Yuri Gell. I want to know, like, because yeah. like, Pokemon was so scared of this. That I heard about the uh, the conflict between 
the whole, you know, spoon bending thing, Kadabra, and no, the Pokemon literally... Company, blah, blah, blah. I didn't realize that Kadabra was removed from the card game the entire it time. It was, yeah, because they were that scared of being sued by it. And I'm looking at the picture now, and the picture is literally just the artwork we just saw of Kadabra holding a spoon. And mm. he was confident that that was enough to sue the shit out of Nintendo. <laughs> and it's like, fucking hell. So fuck it, Charles needs to come back. I'm sorry, Comet. Yeah, you lived a bad life, but we've got Michelle now. Oh yeah, they removed the entire line of Kadabras because they were that worried against Sue by Yuri Geller. Oh, so it wasn't just Kadabra specifically, it was the entire line. No, the entire line of cards based on Kadabra. So you have multiple versions of it with different moves and types and stuff. Oh, type. I see what you mean. I thought you meant the evolution line. Like you have like Kadabra, uh, Sabrina's Kadabra. Yeah, you, yeah, They yeah. were all taken out of the game. And just it's randomly crazy. yesterday, for some reason, just tweeted he tweeted out, uh, yeah, they can print it again. I'm really sorry, Pokemon fans. And you know that that is. Oh, fuck, I realise this was completely um, a baseless uh, <laughs> yeah. suit, which it is. It pretty much is, yeah. So I think Kadabra is based on him in part, but uh, you're allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. With either you're allowed to like have things. Imagine like, Jackie like, Chan turning around and go, No, you're not allowed to use Hitmonchan, fuck you. Or like suing Tekken over Lei, who is literally just him. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like Lei is based on his character from his movies. Or like, imagine if Bruce Lee. Oh, yeah, because I, I. For some reason, I thought you were referring to Lee, who's like the Bruce Lee character, but no. There's like Lei. Is it Wulong? Lei Wulong, who is just Jackie Chan. And he fights like yeah. Jackie Chan. He does drunken boxing and he's a police officer. Like Jackie Chan's most famous character from the police story. Then you have mm -hmm. Martial Law, who is just Bruce Lee. Mm -hmm. and imagine if Bruce Lee's family. And that is a more. Oh, direct... yeah, it's Law, not Lee, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. But that's a more obvious and direct inspiration. And Bruce Lee's family haven't sued them over that. Mm -hmm. uh, and because And that character literally just looks like Bruce Lee. And almost. Every just straight fighting game, you know, with using you normal people has a Bruce, has Lee, a Bruce Lee character. And Bruce Lee's like estate haven't got mad about that. But Yuri Geller looks at this weird, um, like fictional monster, and because it's holding a spoon, he's like, that infringes <laughs> on my copyright. So I'm sorry, I didn't realize you own spoons. <laughs> What's amazing to me is that it's specifically Kadabra because he's holding the spoon, yeah. he has no problem with like. You know, Mega Alakazam having eight spoons over his head that he likes to bend with his mind? No, it's just that one. Oh, Nuzlocke. I haven't given up on being the greatest trainer, so fuck off, Nuzlocke. <laughs> What's even worse about it is, is that, like, he's not even good at what he does. No. Because of that famous uh, Knowles House Party, which was a uh, variety hour TV show in the UK, um, where they were going to play a prank on him, and they accidentally got footage of him pre-bending all the spoons. <laughs> and he was really mad, and he sued them to remove that footage. It's like, fucking hell, like, mate, we know you've not got real psychic powers. Yeah. Stop pretending that you're... It's more embarrassing that you pretend that you do. Just, you know what? I'm an illusionist. That's all it needed to be. I apologise to anyone that thought I was genuinely a psychic. Who I was just It was just a trick. It was an illusion. He insists that he's got psychic powers. Though. The thing I find funny is about his own. Okay, so yeah, we have a bold-natured guts, Michelle. Fucking hell yeah, let's go. Uh, bold is like... No, bold is not good for us. It, but with guts, does it really matter? And with like base 130 attack... Lower attack though, but oh well, oh well. I can live with it. It does off slash and fury swipes. So we got some good stuff. I'm sweet um, then, for some reason. I don't think a bear smelly nice, but like. I presume yeah. that's similar to um, just the reference to honey again. Maybe bears like honey. And I'm I'm really sorry to all these fire type Pokemon. We keep going. Yeah, fire type Pokemon would be really good, and then immediately replaced in there. Immediately. So should we take stock of our team right now? So we need to do some training at the very least. So, I... well, I say we go into the Pokemon League and find out what levels are going to be, and then just can we? We'll have to die, won't we? Uh, we would, which is why we should spend all our money now. Spend all our money and put um, uh, Golbat in the box. 
put Golbat in the box. So he doesn't get KO'd. Oh, true, yeah. Because so um... we'll go in and just immediately lose to the Elite Four, and then, at the very least, we need to get rid of all the HM moves on um, Wooper. Oh, sorry, oh, on Axe Axe Because he's just got a shit ton of um, uh, HM moves, hasn't he? He uh, does, but we will probably need them in Kanto as well. Oh, god damn it, yeah. Fuck. Also, one last thing on the Yuri Geller thing. It's amazing that Nintendo, one of the most litigious gaming companies, actually backed down on this. Hmm, yeah. Like, think about like how much Nintendo is protectionist over its own... I think that would be mainly because, A, it's a middle evolution Pokemon, and B, it's only in the card games that he was asked about. It's like, we just don't want to fight this in court. Because maybe yeah. they were worried that if he won... He'd set the precedent and that'd let, like you said, Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee's estates, or Bruce, mm -hmm. oh, Jackie Chan and then Bruce Lee's estate, come in and be like, well, you've based Pokemon on us, I want my cut. And that, that thing is, do Game Freak really want to let people get a cut of Pokemon money? No. And do gaming companies in general want people to be able to sue them for references? Hmm. Which is a shame, because it's like, in a fighting game, you want the Bruce Lee character. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, Tekken isn't even the most direct one because you have Dead or Alive, where there's a character in it called Jan Lee. Yeah. He's called Jan Lee, and he fights exactly like Bruce Lee. And his backstory is he was picked on as a kid and watched a Bruce Lee movie and taught himself <laughs> to fight by watching Bruce Lee movies and styled himself on Bruce Lee. That's his backstory, and he just looks like Bruce Lee and, and like, dresses like him in all his games. Mm -hmm. And you don't want him getting sued, do you? Retired. He's not retired, he's taking a break. He's not retired, but we're going to let him sit with like the cool kids for now. Yeah, not with the losers. The losers who got wrecked. So, yeah. Eric, we don't want you to die and stop loving us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to teleport people home, but now everyone just flies. I would rather fly than teleport, because teleporting sounds way more dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it does. It sounds like there's a whole bunch of shit that can go wrong.